So after looking at a ton of forums and YouTube tutorials, I found no easy answer to this conundrum. How can I change the background color of pure data to something less straining on the eyes as the default white color? Unfortunately, there is no easy way to do this. And the solution involves literally hacking into pure data files with the trial and error method to get the results you're looking for. However, making it easier on the eyes is well worth it. First, you have to locate the uh, folder that the GUI files are in for pure data. So depending on which version you're using, if it's 64-bit, you're going to be looking for that x86 program files folder and then PD and then TCL if you're in 60 if you're looking at the 64-bit um, file system then you're going to just go straight to program files PD and TCL or depending on where you've installed pure data if you've installed it directly to your C drive or somewhere else that's where you're going to find it but you'll find it under the where you've where you've installed pure data and then you're looking for the TCL files so before you have the ability to edit the files, you have to give yourself permission. So the first thing you have to do is right click on your TCL file, go down to properties, and then go to security. And what you want to do is edit the security permissions. And you want to do it for both the uh, administrator and you're going to go and you're going to select allow. And then you want to do the same thing for the user. You want to select allow full control and then make sure that write is selected as well in the permissions. So do that for both the administrator and user. And that way, uh, when you go through the process of actually opening and changing the files, it's not going to keep popping up and asking you for the administrator password. So that's the first thing you have to do. Then you actually go into the TCL file structure and you want to find the PD GUI TCL. And again, you want to do the same thing. You want to go to the properties first and then set the security permissions so that you, the administrator, has full control and that your users also have full control. And that way, again, when you op try to open the file, you can actually do so. Now, um, you can use various text editors. I prefer to use uh, Notepad++ when I'm editing files like this. So you then will right click on the PD GUI uh, tickle file and then edit with Notepad. <clears throat> so basically the easiest thing to do is to use the edit, uh, uh, excuse me, the find, the search and find and the default is going to be set to white. So if we find next, it'll bring us to the first one. And we can see the option add patch window canvas background is white. So I'm going to change this to gray 50. And then I'm going to find, whoops. Then I'm going to find the next one. Of course, you can do a find and replace, and you can do it that way too, where you just replace all, and it'll replace all of them. You can see it says replace all two. There were, there were two other entries where that needed to be replaced. There is a fourth entry for white, and I'm not sure what it controls, but it doesn't have an effect on... Uh, this is the only effect you need to actually change the... Uh, background color for the pure data uh, patch environment. Okay, so I'm going to close that and then I'm going to save. Make sure you save. Of course, I recommend before you do this, make a backup copy of your tickle file. You know, do that and copy and, and then paste it somewhere else just in case. Uh, you know, screw ups are always possible when hacking information and files like this. Okay, and then. You'll see, let's see, your data 64 bit is what I'm going for here. So when I open the file now, the regular first window is still normal. It's still the white color. And for me, I would prefer that that way I can differentiate it from the actual patch environment. If I'm building patches now, you can see that it has the gray background. 
uh, that I changed it to. And then everything else is the same. I didn't change any other settings. So if I go into add a box like that, it's going to come out still being black and it's normal colors. Uh, the uh, cables and such are still the same colors. It's still basically the same pure data settings. I'm sure there's other settings in that file or other the tickle files in there that you could play with if you really want to go through and change fonts and all the different colors and whatnot. But to me, this is the best thing. Now, this screen is so much easier on the eyes to look at uh, when you're programming in the pure data environment. So some additional helpful uh, information that you might find. Uh, this won't help with the actual screen background, but there are some command line options you can find from this website, yourdata.info slash doc slash FAQ slash command line. This is helpful, especially if you want the command lines for changing the font size and the uh, weight. That way you can open pure data and it will be larger. If you're using a larger screen uh, monitor size, yeah, pure data is really, really tiny when it comes in. So if you want to bump up your font size, you can add these uh, commands into your uh, boot up or startup. Uh, and that will help with the uh, visual aspect of seeing everything. Um, there is this uh, aspect of Tickle uh, from this website up here. Uh, and I'll probably try to find the. I'll post the link in the comments below you can see you have a whole list of color names that uh, you can actually put into that tickle file and so you're not limited just black and white I mean you've got all kinds of colors um, the website also here lists the color and then what the red green and blue uh, settings are for that um, so there's another website and I'm sure there's other ones out there too I found this one so you can go to this website and plug in the values of those codes for red, green, and blue into this and it will kind of show you what the color is going to be with this whole thing or if you want to find a way to make the formulas. Again, this is also helpful for Pure Data itself because if you're using Windows and drawing graphics, you can actually figure out what the uh, with these color selectors here, you can figure out what the red, green, and blue values need to be for your um, different graphics that you're actually using for pure data so that's kind of neat um, and then here's also the hex equivalent I did notice some of the files or for some of the lines of code in the tickle files also accept hex values for the colors and so this is another way you can kind of uh, keep track of both the hex values versus the uh, RGB values for colors So it's a relatively quick and easy way to do it. It took many hours of research to figure this out. Uh, but uh, hopefully this is a good method that works for everybody. And I uh, hope this helped you. So appreciate it. I will be putting up a Patreon at some point in the future. If you found this helpful, could appreciate a little bit of support for my artistic endeavors. And uh, maybe I'll be able to put up some more tutorial videos in the future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.